but I mean, for a hundred dollar reduce, you can finger guns. <gasps> that worked really well. Damn, nice. All right, so uh, the video today is going to be going over a few full body tracking options. Uh, this isn't a complete list by any means. Um, I've only been able to try a few products. It ends up being extremely, extremely expensive. Uh, these are a few things that are pretty easy to get your, uh, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, other hand, there we go, your grubby little moth paws on. <laughs> Someday I'd like to learn and understand more about the full body tracking suit that somebody like Code Miko uses, um, but that's a big upgrade that I don't have uh, room for, and I don't have the money for it, or the brain power for it. There's, there's no room. There's no room. Because there's so much fluff. Okay, so first up, I'll be talking about the Leap Motion, because it is the absolute entry level to getting more than just your face and head moving. So the Leap Motion is not like part of any kind of VR setup. It's its own standalone thing, so you can just buy it on its own. That also means it can't be used in like VR games. It only tracks your hands. Full disclosure, um, my space is not set up for it. You don't need like an intricate space set up for it. Uh, you just need to control like your reflections and stuff. Um, and my space is not set up like that at all. Uh, so my hands definitely lose tracking. Ooh. It also has extra trouble with me because I have really long nails that always have rhinestones on them. Um, and the rhinestones themselves reflect the light. Um, so that messes with the infrared as well. I'm probably gonna go crazy arms right now, but let me uh, let me zoom out a bit. I'll be a bad moth and <laughs> stand on my bed. Rebellious moth stands on bed to prove point. Um, and show you guys that it only, only tracks your hands um, and I guess kind of your wrists, um, but it does not track your body. No matter what you do with your arms, it's not gonna move your body. Uh, my head, my head moves my body way more than my arms do here. But yeah, I mean, most of the time you're seeing a VTuber from this height anyway, if they're not playing a VR game. It is absolutely perfect if you're on a budget or you don't have space or any plans to get VR at all. So yeah, this is not showing off the leap motion to the best of its ability, um, but I really wanted to include it in here because it is such a good low price option. And uh, what I've seen from watching some other VTubers who have really taken the time to perfect their leap motions, uh, it's really, really, really versatile for the price too. Versatile? Versatile? I don't know. I just wanted to include it in here to show that you don't need like VR space to be able to track your hands and get more emotion in. Um, yeah, you don't need a whole like bucket load of money. It's a hundred dollars for Elite Motion or 130 Canadian um, and a webcam. Or if you want this kind of face tracking an iPhone, but we'll do that later. We'll get into that later anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move on to the actual like full body tracking using a VR setup. So you can either use your head mount display thing, which you'll have to use if you're playing a VR game, um, or you can use a head tracker. The head mount displays that you use during like VR games and stuff can't track your face like this, but they can track your body. I use a different kind of head mount that has a Vive tracker on top and can use my iPhone. Um, it's the one that Fofamit, 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 um, but um, who's also the one who did my face tracking. <gasps> but yeah, Fofamit has a whole um, like review video on the head mount that I use. Um, you can go check that out if you want to get an idea, but you can use the one that comes with your VR. You just can't do this. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, just know that you can do what I'm doing with a head mount instead of a head tracker, um, but you can't do these cool facial expressions. Uh, a few things that I forgot to add in uh, when I first recorded this. My like base starting VR setup is uh, two Vive Lighthouses, a Vive headset, and two index controllers. Um, I used to use Vive controllers uh, since I bought that whole setup when it first released, um, but I upgraded to index controllers because the Vive controllers were really old and uh, index has finger recognition as well. So after the first clip, I start adding in Vive trackers, which fair warning run about $130 each. Um, also, 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 sorry for the audio in the full body parts. Um, I tried my best to balance everything, but my mic was really far away at my desk. Um, so I'm gonna add in subtitles. I hope that helps. Okay. Okay, so this is going with just one tracker and hand controllers, which would be the same as if you had like a head display and hand controllers. Um, yeah, so mine is up on my head right here. Oh. Hard to touch up on my head there. Um, if I walk in a circle, let's see what happens. Looking a bit goofy, but I can kind of do it. Like, I mean, <laughs> I look like I might need some assistance, but I can do it. Um, lift my legs up and nothing happens. Bend my arms. Um, can do my caramel dance and kind of. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Here for a jump, right? Okay. 
and a jump. Ready? <laughs> Can't follow me jumping. <laughs> Let me walk backwards and turn around. What happens if I sit down or crouch? I'm going to squat. Ready? Squats. <laughs> That's pretty good. Actually, I guess it's pretty accurate because I'm not moving my legs at all there. Uh, this is going to be the last time I interject. I swear. I swear. Uh, so my feet do this over here. Um, because the trackers I have on the front of my ankle instead of on my feet. Um, I've ordered like these 3D printed shoe mount things. Um, but until then, I use them on my ankle for like stability and stuff during Beat Saber. Um, but that's why sometimes my toes do uh, that thing when I'm walking <laughs> instead, of, instead of being flat. Um, okay, so we're going to have my... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I got to calibrate. What's happening? What's happening? Okay. This is me standing up straight. It's really confused. It's really confused. I'm standing up straight um, because it doesn't know how tall I am. It has no reference. It just knows head here, feet there. Who knows what's in between? I can walk forwards and I can walk. Oh, I should turn around. Sorry. I can turn around and walk backwards. And watch. Um, let me walk in a circle. Let's go. Let's walk in a circle. Ready? Walking in a circle just like the other one. Na, 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 na. Okay, um, I look a little less drunk and a little more like my shoes aren't comfortable. My knee up. So I am holding my knee like at a 90 degree angle right now, which is not what we're seeing here. Yep. Um, to, to make it look accurate, that's what I'm doing with my knee, and this is what it's showing. Let me... Make sure I'm not going to hit anything, and I will jump. It's actually not bad. Let me jump. No, I don't want to jump. I'm scared. I'm scared to jump. I'm scared I'm going to hit my head because I have a little chandelier up here. Um, not because I'm bougie, uh, because the people who lived here before us um, were renters. People who lived here before had, had a little princess chandelier for their kids, not because I'm bougie. Yeah. Oh, what was this? Oh, I squat. I can squat. Ready? This is going to be a hilarious squat. Okay. Help her. Somebody help her. I actually think that just having these two honestly messes it up more than when I didn't have my legs. So again, this is the head, two controllers, and one on each foot. Uh, they are placed about where my pom-poms are, actually. Um, God, I'm barely moving my foot. I'm like just barely moving it off the ground. Um, and it, it really thinks my knees go in places. Um, yeah, ta-da! Okay. Now we have the addition of my waist, which makes all of this, look at how much more natural this is already. Just by me walking forward, it's so much more natural. So much more natural. So now we have my head, uh, one controller in each hand, um, one on each foot, right where my pom-poms are, and one right here on my waist. Yeah, not my hips, my waist. Um, I tried hips, and I think just with my, like, height and proportions and stuff, uh, waist worked better for the, the distance. Um, I think if I add leg ones, it would be even better, but this is pretty darn good. I have so much more movement now. All right, we're going to walk in a circle. Walking in a circle. We're walking in a circle. Walking in a circle. I think that this is the best bet for people who want to do uh, room scale. Room scale, I believe, is what the, the fancy people call it. Um, this is the best full body tracking bang for your buck. Uh, anything above this is excessive. Um, I add two more on my arms that I'll turn on in a second. Um, I mainly add those for Beat Saber. I'm just moving around. I'm just, I just feel like because I can move, I should move. <laughs> um, I feel like because I have the power to be around, I should be around. Let me try again. So I got my head, and then I got the index controllers, and then I got one on my waist at like the smallest part, and then I got one on each leggy where the pom-poms on my shoes are. And that's how we do this. Still gets confused sometimes. Um, part of that's my room setup. Yeah.
Uh, let me add um, our arms. Okay, so this is how to give me arms. It's still not perfect, um, mostly because of my room setup. Uh, it could be better, but you know what? I have a really small room. Like I have, I have like the bare minimum play space that you're allowed to have um, for room scale, as they say. Um, so yeah, so part of part of what makes one of my limbs every once in a while go whoop, whoop, is um, just my small room and all of the screens in it. But anyway, I, I digress. Is that what the smart people say? I digress. I think that that's what that means. I got the head, I got the index controllers in my hand, I have on the back of my elbows, which you will see on the diagram, I have my waist, oh, I have my waist, and I have my legs. So that's all of them, that's the two extra. Um, you'll see it's not like, a, it's not a huge difference, but, you know, it stops from clipping into me as often, um, it stops like awkward crossovers as often. Yeah, um, I guess I should still do the tests anyway. What did I do before? I forget what I did before. <laughs> I already forget what I did before. Um, right, I'm gonna walk in my circle. Walking in my circle. Walking in my circle. I'm walking in my circle with all these trackers. I will walk backwards. <sighs> yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Don't hit my head and ready? Ta-da! Um, I can like, I mean, prime dancing stuff here, right? I can like, wow. If I knew any dances, I'd do them. But I, for one, did not learn how to renegade because I thought I was too cool for it. I can, da da na, na but I can do that with any. <laughs> I can do that with any amount of trackers. Um, I don't know, I don't know my weeb dances. Um, oh, <gasps> did I remember to squat? I think I remember to squat. We're going to squat this time, ready? How you doing? I'm a, I'm a Yankee. I'm a... Yeah, you know, I feel like I've kind of capped out on um, as far as my model and the trackers go for squat ability. But you know what? I'm threatened by me. I'm threatened by me. I think if I added some Adidas here or there, you know, a nice tracksuit, I'd be threatened. This is. Uh, even in, if you're used to things, something like VR chat, here is where you can set those settings. You can see all of these settings that I have right here. Uh, most of mine are actually for body morphs instead. And you can, it does come with some presets.